Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, Kaylee and I are at the Alesh Glacier in Switzerland. It is the longest glacier in the Alps. It's over 20 kilometers long, and it is absolutely stunning. Oh, yeah. We're usually not big glacier people, but this is something else. Really something else. Well, it's not that we're not glacier people. We just see a lot of them in Canada. So it takes a lot to impress us. This has impressed us. The Aletsch Glacier is one of the most impressive places we've ever been and shockingly you can travel most of the way there by gondola if you know which route to take. So sit back, enjoy, and let us walk you through how to have an epic adventure at the Great Aletsch Glacier. If you are new to the channel, my name is Kaylee. I'm David. We run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Explore. We're passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. And we've got lots of sweet stuff like this in Switzerland coming up. We are traveling around with a few of our friends. Hello. And <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They'll be guest starring in our video too. Yeah. <laughs> If you are planning a trip through Switzerland, we have created a Switzerland travel guide that has everything you need to know about traveling through this spectacular country. From travel and budget tips to hiking guides, secret viewpoints, discounted spa access, thrilling activities, and information on how to avoid the crowds, this 77 page guide has it all. We have already had so much great feedback from people who have used this guide to plan their trip and they say it was so helpful and gave them access to incredible places they never would have found on their own. So don't miss it. It's an instant download and we have linked it below. So there are a few ways that you can get to the Alec Glacier. There's a few different towns that you can actually start in. It's mm -hmm. huge, like we mentioned. So there's yep. a couple different options to get to viewpoints. But what we chose to do was we drove to the Betten train station. Yeah. And then we just talked to the lady and told her that we wanted a ticket all the way to the top, basically. <laughs> and that's yeah. how we wound up where we did. So we took <laughs> the gondola from Betten up to Bet Yeah. And then you walk, we were like, oh no, we didn't get all the way up there. But mm. you walk through the town, which is cute. Like if you, if you want to yeah. stop on your way back for a drink or something, really great nice. place to do it. Picturesque. Yeah. And then you get on another gondola, gondola. and take that up to Bet Yeah. And from there, it's like... 200 meters you have yep. to walk or something for it's insane views of the glacier. If you wanted to save some money, you could take the gondola up to Betmer Alp and hike to Betmer Horn, which would be 5.3 kilometers and 662 meters of elevation gain. This gondola would cost approximately 20 Swiss francs per person round trip, so that would save you about 30 Swiss francs per person. Yeah, so it is a little bit expensive, but something to note too, if you're staying at a campground or a hotel in the area, they give out discount cards. Everywhere that we've stayed has mm -hmm. given them, and I think it gives about a 30% discount on most gondolas. So make sure mm -hmm. to show that at the desk yeah. because that helps out a lot because the gondolas are expensive and they add up. <laughs> For sure. From the Betmohorn station, the trail actually goes down beside the glacier. You can get really close and you can go as far as you like. There's a really popular viewpoint which is about five kilometers each way from the Betmahorn station. All of the views along here are absolutely stunning. You go down about 500 meters of elevation on the way to this viewpoint, so keep in mind you need to come back up that 500 meters as well. Another tip for this hike, I would say go on a clear day because oh, the glacier yeah. just goes on forever. So yeah. the more you can see the better and bring lots of layers. It yeah. is cold, cold <laughs> up top, but then like you start hiking, you get hot. Yeah. We had, we went in September, we had toques and like down winter jackets on for a lot of it. So yeah, the air blows right off the glacier and it's chilly. 
it's a little brisk. <laughs> so we hiked back the same way we came and took the gondola from Betmerhorn back to Betmeralp and then back down to the Betten train station. This means a bit of a climb on the way back up to Betmerhorn though. That's about 500 meters of elevation gain. Another option is to hike a circle from the Betmerhorn train station to Betmeralp. So you actually can go down along the glacier, stop at the viewpoint, and then make your way on to Betmeralp. This is 15 kilometers in total. However, it is mostly downhill. So you have 185 meters of elevation gain and 900 meters of elevation loss on this trail. Obviously, if you choose this option, you only need to get a one-way gondola ticket between Betmeralp and Betmerhorn. What did you think about the Altec Glacier? It's been on your bucket list forever. Well worth a day. Yeah, yeah. it's fair. Well Don't worth. hike it. Awful, awful idea. Get a cable car. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, well worth it. <laughs> and, and, get a drone well and get a drone that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sound advice. And don't forget your camera. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much today was just a fucking disaster. <laughs> but the glacier was sound. There you oh go. God. All good tips. All good tips. This was one of our favorite points in Switzerland for sure, though. It was so beautiful. Yeah. We def definitely recommend going. Um, if you guys haven't checked out our Switzerland guide, be sure to do that. We'll link it below in the description. Yes, this guide has got basically everything that we did and learned while traveling through Switzerland. So. Mm -hmm best places to go, best places to stay, yeah. um, how to save money, renting a car, everything you need to know basically, yeah. it will be linked below. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you next week.